Hi, I'm Renas, the founder of NextChat and X intern at Spotify, and I've also previously worked at professional web agencies. You might ask, what is NextChat? Well, NextJet is a Next.js SaaS starter kit or boilerplate, which will help you speed up your SaaS development. So who is this for? It's for developers, students, indie makers, and startups. Whether you're looking to earn your first money online building a SaaS, or if you're looking for a professional production ready foundation for your code base and skip all the configuration hassles, then this is for you. Most people who are looking to earn their first money online give up before they've even begun developing their idea because they get overwhelmed by all the configuration and setups that you need for a working startup. Now that's what I want to help you with here. We've got everything set up for you already so that you can accelerate your SaaS development and focus on building your actual idea and not setups. Why would you choose NextJet over all the competitors? Well, the unique selling points of NextJet is that I focus heavily on production ready, clean code, as well as scalability. It's been developed with tools loved by developers, which offers a great developer experience as well as speed. Now I've developed this with a great foundation to build upon, which allows you to build fast while also maintaining a clean code base so that you can avoid a messy rebuild down the line as your application grows. You could create your own boilerplate if you'd like to. However, I realized when setting up my own SaaS that it required a lot of configuration and setup hassles, which took a lot of time. And most startups are going to need key essential features, which is already included in this boilerplate. Now, allow me to show you which key features are already included in this boilerplate. We use TypeScript as well as Next.js and React, and it's a monorepo setup with a turbo repo. Linting is already set up with Eastlint and Prettier. We use Tailwind CSS and ShadCN. Prisma as an ORM, which allows you to choose your preferred database. We also use Zod for validation. Uh, authentication is already set up for you with Next Off. You can choose between either Stripe or Lemon Squeezy as your provider. And we use recent for transactional emails. A tiny bird for analytics, chat support widget like this one down below here as well as a feedback widget where users can easily uh, give you feedback on your SaaS. A marketing page is included. We have a blog. It's also documentation. So you can easily create a uh, user facing documentation for your users as well. It's SEO optimized. We have a user dashboard, admin dashboard and onboarding flow set up and the billing page. Let me show you the demo of the boilerplate. So this is the marketing page that is already set up for you. It follows a high converting design, which will help you increase your conversion rate. Now, if you scroll down here, this is how it looks like as a social proof, uh, feature showcasing and uh, pricing uh, section right here, as well as an FAQ to address user concerns. So we also have a blog integrated for you so you can easily create blog articles to drive in more organic traffic for your website. Docs is set up as well so you can easily create documentation for your users and we can also log in to the user dashboard. I can sign in with either Google, GitHub or email. I'm going to go with GitHub. So this is what the dashboard looks like. We have a profile page where you can change your name and delete the account. We have a billing page right here. Here, your users can manage their subscription. They can either upgrade or they can change their subscription through this button right here. And we also have a admin dashboard, which only admins can access. And here you get stats of your business and some charts and we can also see all users signed up right here and we can ban the user delete the user impersonate user for support as well as view the user this is what the view user section looks like now let's jump over to the code so this is the code base it's a monorepo setup with turbo repo we have two applications in this monorepo it's the dashboard side and also the marketing side. The marketing side is just a public facing website 
and the dashboard one is where all your core business logic, your actual SaaS will be. Both are Next.js projects. We also have a packages folder. Inside here, we have standalone packages, which you can reuse throughout all of your applications or your projects. So inside the applications, we follow a feature-based folder structure for scalability and also co-location. So it's easy to find related code. So inside here, we can go to dashboard right here. And we also have these different routes. We have the admin route, the billing route, the feedback route, etc. If we go to one of these, we can actually see that we have another components folder here. So like I said, we follow a feature based folder structure. Everything that is related to the billing page will be inside of this folder. It's very easy to find. If I open this components folder, you can find the components that belongs to this feature and the hooks as well. You can create any type of uh, folders you'd like. Now we do have a components folder and a hooks folder and a lib folder as well in the root of the project. These are going to be the files that are being reused throughout the entire dashboard application in this case. The marketing Next.js page is set up in a similar fashion. Now as for the backend or API, we use TRPC. TRPC allows us to create end-to-end type-safe APIs and it works flawlessly with React Query. It's very powerful once you learn it and it's not very hard. I've set up everything for you and it's going to help you speed up your development way quicker than if you were to follow a traditional Next.js approach. The API resides inside a standalone package right here. We create routes based on different features. For example, in this case, we have the user route right here. And the user router has some different endpoints. Update user onboarding, get me, change name, delete me, etc. We follow a layered architecture for scalability, where we create folders for different responsibilities. This is to avoid a mess as your application grows. And it's way easier to onboard new members if you follow a clear structure. We have the repository, which is basically the database layer. This is where you will do all of your database interactions. We also have the service folder. This is where all of your logic will reside. That's the key features of the spoiler plate covered. I put a lot of hours into making sure we have a great foundation where we're following best practices, clean code, as well as scalability and a great developer experience. So I hope you liked it. And if you have any question, please do not hesitate to reach out to me personally. You can just use this chat widget on the bottom right of the website. Thank you and bye bye.